Are you looking to master Git in VS Code? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of using Git in VS Code so that you can stop swapping between your code editor and your Git client. All right, let's skip all the fluff and get right into it. Before we dive into using Git in VS Code, let's make sure that you have everything set up. If you haven't already, you need to install Git and VS Code on your computer. Don't worry, it's super easy. I've added the download links in the description below, as well as links to videos showing you just how to do it. Once you have Git and VS Code installed, we can start using the built-in Git integration that comes with VS Code out of the box. To check if Git is properly integrated in VS Code, let's open up a new terminal within the editor. To do that, I'm gonna hit Control, back tick and then type in git space dash dash version you should see the git version installed on your system if you see it then that means git is properly integrated with vs code now that we've got everything in place we can move on to configuring git in vs code let's configure it to make sure that it knows who you are we'll set up your name and email address so that your commits are correctly attributed to you let's go back to the terminal and type in git config dash dash global space user dot name and then in double quotes type your first and last name and hit enter then we'll type in git config dash dash global user dot email and put your email address in double quotes as well now let's verify that your name and email have been correctly set up type in git config dash dash global user dot name and hit enter and you should see your name and then type the same thing but do it for email and you should see your email address now that git is set up in vs code it's time to create a repository a repository or repo for short is a place to store your code so first let's open the folder you want your code to live in and then navigate over to the source control tab and click initialize repository now that our repo is set up let's add some files to it so i'm just going to click the new file icon and name it index.html and I'm just going to put some boilerplate HTML in there and then save the file. Now to track this file in Git, we need to stage it. So we'll come back to the source control tab and click the plus sign beside index.html. We also need to add a message. So I'm just going to type add index.html and I'm going to click commit. Now let's connect our local repository to a remote repository. This will allow you to push your changes to a remote location and collaborate with others. It'll also serve as a backup for your code. So first, navigate to your remote repository's provider website and create a new repo. This could be GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. Once you've created the remote repository, copy its URL and then in VS Code, click on the three dots icon and then under remote, select add remote. We'll just paste that URL and then hit enter. Now we need to provide a remote name. This is typically origin and then enter. With the remote repository added, it's time to push our initial commit. So we're gonna click on the three dots again, come under push pull and click push. We'll select okay. And now you should be able to see your code in your Git repository provider's website. Now let's talk about cloning a repository. You won't always be creating a repo from scratch, but rather working on an existing code base. Cloning allows you to keep a local copy of a remote repository on your computer. So to do that, we'll come back to VS Code and open the command palette. On a Mac, that's Command-Shift-P, and on Windows, that's Control-Shift-P. With the command palette open, we'll type in git and select git clone. You'll be prompted to enter the URL of the remote repository you want to clone. If you're assigned into VS Code with GitHub, You'll also be given the option to clone from GitHub. I'm just going to paste the repository URL for VS Code that I got from GitHub and then just hit enter. Next, we need to choose a local folder where you want to clone the repo to. And now we can see that I have a local copy of the source code for VS Code. Finally, let's cover pulling and pushing changes on remote repositories. To pull changes that were made on the remote repository, we're going to come to the source control and then click the three dots come under pull, push, and choose pull. Git will then fetch the changes and merge them into your local branch. To push your local changes to the remote repository, we'll click the three dots under push pull and choose push. Now that we've gone over the basic actions in VS Code, let's go over branching and merging. Branching allows you to work on multiple features or fixes simultaneously, while merging combines changes from one branch into another. First, let's create a new branch. So if we come down to the bottom left corner and click on main, we have the option to create a new branch. So we'll select that and then provide a name for our branch. I'm going to call it feature forward slash new underscore feature and then press enter. And now we can see in the bottom left corner, my new branch has been checked out. 
You can easily switch between branches by coming back down, clicking on your branch, and then choosing another branch. Once you've made changes in the new branch, it's time to merge them into the main branch. First, switch back to the main branch, and then click the three dots, and under branch, choose merge branch, and then click on your new branch. Git will attempt to merge the changes automatically. If there are no conflicts, the merge will be successful and your changes from the new branch will be incorporated into the main branch. If there are conflicts between the branches, Git will notify you and mark the conflicting lines in the affected files. And that's it. We've gone over everything you need to know to start using Git in VS Code. If you like this video, then you may enjoy my video on live share in VS Code. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.